Hey, 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 guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kamoy. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are doing a vibration for August 10th, 2019. Uh, we're going to take a look and see exactly what's going on in the atmosphere and the collectives today. Just know today is vibrating on the same numbers as yesterday. Yesterday, it was the master number of 11 reduced to a single digit of 2. So, um... We know yesterday that there was some um, argumentative energy in the air. There was also some fearful energy in the air with people. And people just being out of balance yesterday and maybe trying to pull you into some situations because they felt insecure. But you had that option yesterday, if you were doing the work, right, to be adaptable, um, to operate in your personal will and your personal power, and to maybe even explore your soul's mission, okay? So... We're going to thank our angels and our guys, our ancestors, our higher self, the divine masculine and feminine side. We're going to thank all of the energy and the atmosphere that's here to help guide, protect, encourage, and give us the strength to take action when needed. Remember that there's nothing outside of yourself. Everything that you need lives within. And when you, you can tap into that, you can really begin to tap into all of your power. You have the power to create the reality that you desire to experience, okay? So with the number two vibration today, um, just a few other things that the number two vibrates on this is encouragement so you can find that someone today may be entering your life that you may need to encourage or that may be bringing encouragement to you for some of you you may have to step into a place of meditation um, the number two definitely vibrates on that also for some of you you definitely have to pay attention to your intuition and be flexible today okay do not get caught up in arguments if people are trying to draw you in with their lower vibrational shit understand that some people will also be acting um, indecisive today if there are uh, decisions that you may need to have someone give the okay on you can feel um, someone just being indecisive because that's operated from a place of being fearful of the unknown you can also see aggressive energy in the atmosphere today okay so let's tap in and see what else we got okay so we got crown chakra work up uh, third eye chakra work popping up, which is balance, okay? So third eye is all about you using your imagination and your perception to create the, reali the reality that you desire to experience, okay? And so we got balance popping up with crown chakra. And then we got um, prayer popping up with the solar plexus. The solar plexus is all about your ego and your will, okay? So you're going to follow your ego, um, which is the lower vibrational end of things, I want to say. But I don't even want to label it the lower vibrational end of things because you still need your ego to operate. It just needs to be in, it just likes to be in control, okay? Um, so I would say that um, it represents your ego as far as your consciousness is concerned, um, okay? So this represents your ego as well as your um, your subconscious mind, okay? So your solar plexus, your ego, and your will. Your spirit or your ego? Well, you're going to go with your ego or you're going to go with your spirit, okay? So we got prayer. Now, whenever I see this card, I like to tell people, like today you're going to have to pay attention to if you're offered lemons today, you can make lemonade. Oh, yes, you can. You, oh, yes, you can. Or you can make you some shrimp lemon scampi, some lemon meringue pie, or you can make you some lemon chicken with a little mashed potatoes on the side. Like you can create a whole feast out of some lemons, okay? So... You don't only have to make lemonade. This is your feast, your table. Create it the way you want to if you're handed lemons. The whole object of this is are you going to continue to see things in the old, the past, stuck in the past? Or are you going to begin to use the lemons to create your lemonade or your lemon meringue pie or your lemon chicken and, and see things differently? Be, a, be adventurous, right? Try different things. Do something different. Um, who said there's a saying that goes, I can't remember who the saying is from, but the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing over and over and expect a different result if you know that it's not working. Okay? So try something different. You try something different, you can definitely get a, you can definitely be assured that you may get a different outcome. Okay? All right. So we know that it's asking... We know that the universe is asking us to be balanced today and to really judge things fairly today. Don't operate from a place of the lower vibration of the um, end of the number two, which is fear, uh, fearfulness, um, being indecisive once again. So you're going to have to be able to make some hella lemon feasts, okay, out of what's handed to you today. All right, let's see. 
Let's see what you may encounter today. You have the Page of Fire in reverse, the King of Earth in reverse, the Death card in reverse, who the Chariot card in reverse, the Two of Air in reverse. This is a lot of in reverse, and the Three of uh, what the heck a deck? Okay, that's a lot of reverses. At one point, I have to make sure that the cards is not um all reversed, you know, but they not okay. Ooh, I told y'all we're dealing with some heavy energy today. Okay. All right. So let's start with these two. All right. We got the King of Earth, and the King of Earth is all about the King of Pentacles. Okay. Now, if you, what you need to be um, paying attention to today with this King of Earth, aka the King of Pentacles energy, this could definitely be somebody controlling or domineering today. This, could, you know, you could be working with somebody that's hard to work with and very negative. Um, okay. And then the Page of Fire, just so you know, the Page of Fire has to do with you uh, and your intuitions. Earth energy represents the third dimension in the physical realm. The page is representing um, your intuition, okay? So you could be dealing with someone that's very controlling, and that's because of their insecurity, right? And that's really because, like I said, insecurity, they're pessimists, okay? They're pessimists. They're very negative, whoever you're dealing with. So you want to be mindful of that today. So be mindful not to, not to fucking answer your phone if your intuition is telling you don't answer the phone because they're coming with some negative shit today, okay? Uh, be mindful about that. So with this king of earth, and you're going to have to flip it on them. You're going to have to maintain the control. You're going to have to be disciplined in your thought process and even the conversation that you have, okay? You're going to have to bring the good news because they come to bring you a whole bunch of bullshit. Be original and use your ingenuity when you have conversations today don't get caught up in negative conversations today is what I'm hearing, okay? Now, you do have two major arcana cards popping up on the deck today, okay? So, you could also be interacting with someone today. That's just resistance to the change, or this could be you, right? Just being unable to move on because you're stuck in past shit, right? You do need to bring in balance, which means sometimes letting go of the things that no longer serve you, okay? Creating lemonade out of lemons or lemon meringue pie, shit, or lemon chicken, okay? Which really means just stop seeing things in the old negative light and seeing things from a different perspective today okay um the number two also vibrates the meditation so some of you may want to try meditation today okay so with the death card it's in reverse it is saying that some of you may be unable to move on or you're dealing with someone that's unable to move on you could if it's a job situation it could be dealing with someone that's unable to move on because you may have offended them or they you know just like they're just stuck Okay, um, so you do not want to get caught up in this energy today. So you just need to level up in your spectrum of this um, death card. You could be dealing with the Scorpio too. Um, but your spectrum of a death card, of the how you need to flip the energy on them would be to literally transform the situation. Just move on. Just, just vibrate higher and just not, don't argue. Really, because people are going to try to draw you into their arguments today, so don't do that. You do have the chariot card in the reverse, okay? With the chariot card being in the reverse, that's where this aggressive energy may come in, okay? That's where this energy, this aggressive energy may come in. Some people just don't want change. It has to be their way or the only way. And I, I don't know why I'm getting some, like, work situation today, people, okay? And some of you, you just could be walking into a store doing your shopping, and this person within this location just got this really stinky, funky energy today, okay? So be mindful if you're out shopping today, especially if you're doing back-to-school shopping. I know my kids are back in school. Just be mindful of the energy and the atmosphere today. You're going to be responsible for balancing your own feelings today, okay? Okay? You do have the three of ear and the, uh, I'm sorry, the two of ear and the three of fire in reverse. Okay, the two of ear, just so you guys know, in reverse, this is all about being um, indecisive um, or maybe even an emotional overload. So this is why vibrating in the number two today, you may have to get into your meditative bubble, okay, um, which means just cut some people out. You know, instead of talking on the phone while you're driving, doing your shopping, you may want to put on some meditative stuff so you can get your me time, okay? Um, so the two of ear is saying whatever decisions that needs to be made or whatever confusion is going on today, whatever information overload that's going on today. And I really feel like somebody could be trying to dump shit on you today too. So you want to be mindful of that because the three, the three of fire energy is saying that if you don't see this coming and have lack of foresight, because this is lack of foresight right here, right? That's like you just didn't plan it properly. 
Okay, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to plan this day. Okay, because somebody's coming with something and whatever they're trying to bring to you for you to get involved when they haven't planned it properly. They have not planted fully, okay? So this is not, yeah. You don't want to get involved with whatever this is that they're bringing you today, especially if you know they on the negative spectrum. They have not planted fully. So before you get involved with whatever they're bringing to you today to get involved with, please make sure that you do all the full research before you commit to anything, okay? All right, my lovelies, keep in mind that we are vibrating on the master number 11 today, which reduces to the number two, which is all about the same vibration from yesterday. People will be operated in fear, trying to pull you into arguments, okay? People would have lack of consideration today, just like no, you know, no, no consideration for your family for your thoughts today um so you're gonna have to be flexible and not be too much in your feelings today um just be the light of encouragement today okay and sometimes encouraging people means not saying shit at all i'm just saying what they used to say when you don't have nothing nice to say say nothing at all I'm just saying. All right, my lovelies, I will see you guys in tomorrow's daily. Just choose your energy. You get to choose, okay? You get to choose. Love you guys. Bye.